guys, I have been fighting with technical difficulties all afternoon trying to get ready for this, and I had a migraine. So what are we going to look at today? Well, we are going to look at <clears throat> different types of knife deployment, mainly thumb studs versus flipper tabs and some different combinations and flipper, like finger flicking apertures. There are some knives you can do with a fuller, but before we get too much further into it, you know what to do if you're watching on headphones. Turn down the volume because here comes a little bit of music. here just wanted to throw it out there so that I, future mike always forgets if you haven't checked out the merch store, there's a lot of stuff in there i got sweatshirts i got t-shirts i got coffee cups there's a link in the description if you want to support the channel all the sales go to the merch store and providing the stuff but then it also i get a portion of the of the take of it so like i said merch store sweatshirts t-shirts coffee cups they're all really nice now back to future mike so he can tell you about a knife Guys, we are gonna talk about, I have a bunch of knives with a bunch of different deployment methods. These are my two favorites. So what I've got out is I picked out a bunch of knives. Some of them are uh, thumb stud only. Some of them are flipper tab only. Some of them are a combination. But before we get into that, this is Mike from that chapter. And this is one of my favorite true crime channels on the internet. I watch it all the time. Uh, if you really like true crime, stuff he digs into it sometimes he has unsolved stuff sometimes he's got stuff that's solved and he tells you the whole backstory great 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 channel one of my favorite things is every time he says the word three tree so let's get into this so i will meet us well i'll meet you down at the bench we'll take a good look at these knives i will link this channel in the description of my video so if you guys want to go check it out it's a great channel you probably should follow it so i'll meet you guys down at the table I was trying to get the lighting good here so these are knives that i have these bought this bottom row these are all thumb flippers now not all flippers this this one's a thumb flipper this one is more one that you slow roll out i kind if i'm going to do a thumb stud i kind of like the option of being able to do that but you can thumb flip this uh you absolutely can but some of these, the detent is stiff enough. Like there's no real way to thumb flip or th slow roll this. It it just wants to pop. See what I'm saying? It just wants to pop out. Um, so here we have the the uh, CJRB Centros. It's a thumb flipper. I think this is you know, this one wants to fly out. The problem with ones that that want to fly out is if you try to slow roll them, you can get off of your thumb stud and get down in there and cut yourself. Um, of course, you have this one. This one you can slow roll. It's my Benchmade 940 Osborne uh, with the access lock. This actually is not hard to, to slow roll, and it, it deploys really well that way. It also flips pretty easily, and then you have multiple options. Now, this is the CJRB Rhea. It's definitely a thumb flipper. You can't slow roll that one. It just wants to fly open. And then up here, there's a couple that are combos. Like my Norseman has got a thumb stud, which actually will flip pretty well. You can slow roll this if you want. Um, because the de the way the detent is set up, you can actually do it uh, if you don't put any pressure on it. But flipper tabs a lot of times are what most people th think of because you can deploy it, you get your hand away from it. You don't have to reach across it and do it like that. So for a lot of people, the flipper tab is the way to go. But I like having the option here to have both. Here's another example of a, of a combo. This is the Civivi Brazen, a knife that I really, really, really have come to like. Uh, you guys already saw the first impressions. I talked with Jared about this. Great, great knife. The option of being able to have either one, if you like to be able to thumb flip your knife like that or have a flipper tab is nice. Now we're going to get into some of the reasons why you might want to have a thumb stud only. This is the Artisan Mastiff. Now this knife actually can be flipped with the fuller. That's another thing that you can do. You can finger flick it with the fuller. Um, I have a couple knives that are like that. Um, this one, you can actually flick with the fuller or use the thumb stud. The action is equally good on both. This is my, her, my uh, Horizon D from Riat in carbon fiber and titanium. Uh, the action is equally good either if you don't get your finger up on the flipper tabs. The action is equally good 
both to, both ways. And the nice thing about it is you have another option. You can actually, if you, you know, if you pinch it, pop it past the detent, you can thumb roll it open. Now, I do have a knife here that I kind of think falls into the next category, but it's a little bit different. I've never been able to spidey flick any of the Spyderco knives. I think it's just the size of my hand. And these, except for the, I'm sorry, I take that back, except for the compression lock. I don't think these qualify as that. I think that's just a nice option, a lot like the thumb stud where you can just roll it out. I do like the spidey hole, even though I'm not a big fan of Spyderco knives these days. Uh, used to be, but not so much now. And then there's the third option, which is a lot of knives have an aperture here, which does a couple things. It actually reduces weight significantly in the blade because there's a big chunk of it, but it gives you another way to flick that open. And it's really satisfying to be able to finger flick a knife like that or use the, the flipper tab. A lot of times on my Ferrum forges that have that, that's how I usually open it because it's just... It's one of those things that just, it, it kind of gets your attention when you do it. It's just, it's fun. It's fun to do. Uh, but one of the reasons why you'll find people that gravitate to these knives that don't have a flipper tab is because of the flipper tab itself. There's a lot of people that have this exact knife that did a flipper delete. As a matter of fact, my buddy Pip Corona did that. And it looks really good. You don't really lose anything because you have that ample finger aperture that you still can deploy that knife easily with and have the same action as you would if you had a flipper tab. And it looks really appealing without the flipper tab. Now, I wouldn't do that because I personally like the flipper tab. I like having that when you get up in that forward finger choil, you have that back here that is acting as a finger guard and it gives you a little bit of leverage when you hold it that way. But I do know that some people, so let's look at this, this knife, I've seen with a flipper tab, I've seen the flipper version of this, and I don't like it. This knife would lose a lot by having a flipper tab. Most of the knives that are in this row, and I think it's just because we've always seen them without a flipper tab, I think they would lose a little bit of their, you know, aesthetics just simply by adding a flipper tab. This knife is beautifully simple and elegant the way it is. If you were to put a flipper tab on this, I think you would lose a lot. It would detract from this knife. The same, especially this, I think this one, it would be the most, uh, th this knife would be harmed the most with the addition of a flipper tab. It looks great the way it is. It feels great the way it is. And if you were to put a flipper tab on this, as small as this knife is, which is another video I'm gonna do, which is small versus large knives, you would lose a lot by having a flipper tab on this knife, I think. Um, I would compare this to a lot to the Urban Tracker. And it has a flipper tab and I didn't like it. Uh, so this is just one of those knives that just would not look right with a flipper tab. I don't like access locks with a flipper tab. It doesn't make sense to put a flipper tab on it. Um, I had the Crag that was the one with the recoil lock, which is basically CJRB's version of the axis lock. And the axis lock is not great for flipping. It's just not got the detent you would want. And then this knife, the CJRB Centros, this knife would look horrible with a flipper tab. I honestly think this knife would look bad with a flipper tab. It's like this. This knife does not look right to me with a flipper tab on it. And it's not just the flipper tab they used. So depending on what kind of knife you've got, like what kind of knife you want to carry, I would not want to have this knife without the flipper tab. It doesn't act much as a finger guard, but it's just enough. And I like the deployment with the flipper. Now, do I like both? Yeah, that's why I'm glad it has both. And the thing about this one too is some of these knives, it's nice you can flip that. I could do this ambidextrous and I could have that like that. This one has double thumb studs. If you happen to be left-handed, I'm not great with knives that left-handed because I'm not a lefty, but it allows you to open it both ways, right or left-handed. And this one has a reversal pocket clip, so you'd be able to do that. And then, like I said, these knives don't have it. This knife would not look right with thumb studs. There are some knives that just do not benefit from certain things. This knife does not look, this knife looks fine the way it is. I love the, I love the Artisan Mastiff. 
not such a fan of the logo, but you know, hey, I do love the knife. If you were to put thumb studs on this, this knife would not look the same. It wouldn't feel the same in hand and I would not like it as much. I do have to say, I'm, I don't have one over the other. I, I predominantly carry these knives, but these are always in my pocket too. So it just depends on the situation. Like what's in my pocket today? Do I need a rapid deployment on my Sebenza? No, I'm not carrying this as a self-defense tool. This is a work knife. So, you know, it's just up to your personal preference, but I just wanted to show you why, I, I mean, like, I would not want to put a flipper tab on this. And is there one that's better than the other? I personally find doing a thumb flip or a, an opening, a, an opening aperture a little bit more satisfying sometimes than the flipper. The flipper, it's just, that's the way it's always done. But now, like, if you've got, especially if you've got something that's unique, you know, the, the flipper aperture, you know, the, the flipping, the finger flipping thing has not been around all that, that super long. Uh, so learning that little, you know, how do I get my finger in there? How do I do it? Oh, hey, there we go. It's kind of satisfying to do it that way because it's, it's a unique and different way to open things. Um, this one is by far the best for opening with the flipper uh, aperture with your finger, finger flicking it. So it's just one of those things that I like both. Some people have a preference. I don't so much have a preference. I just know that a lot of the knives that do have thumb studs just would not look right with a flipper tab. If you don't believe me, I'm going to put up a picture of this Chavez with a flipper tab. basically the same knife with a flipper tab. And well, it's not just that I like the flipper tab is not great. It does not look at, it does not look good. Even if it was the same as one of these flipper tabs, this knife would not look right with a flipper tab. It just wouldn't. So that's about all I got to say. Right, guys, let's turn this around for, for, with, uh, to get some final thoughts. All right, guys. So that's it. Flipper tabs versus uh, thumb studs. It's, it's really, a personal preference. And if you like one versus the other, that's fine. I like both. I find both useful. I like some knives with and without. Some knives benefit from having both. Um, and I, I like I like the versatility there. I just thought it'd be fun to look at knives that I don't think would benefit from a flipper tab. Like I said, you guys saw, I, I put in there, uh, I, I should have edited in um, a picture of that Chavez with a flipper tab. I just, I, I don't think it looks the same. I don't find it as appealing. So, you know, a lot of times it's just an aesthetic thing. And then it's a functional thing. Like I said, access lock does not do well with a flipper tab. Um, I do know that the, like the, the newer access lock that they used in the Anthem is not as bad, but you know, a lot of times access lock is just kind of soft and mushy and it doesn't have a lot of detent. So you know, sometimes there's a functional reason for it. It just all is up to preference. So guys, that's it. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. Please try to tell me why. If you like the channel, you want to try and support the channel. You can always give applause on a specific video. You can set, you can give a set amount like $2 for a video just to tell me I did a good job. And if you really want to support the channel, because guys like me and Jared Neves, or Jared over at Neves Knives, I should say, we don't ever, none of us do this for free. Uh, it always costs. And anything that you guys do to help out the channel, definitely help. Even if it's just sharing the videos with other people. Um, if you can't afford this, I, I get it. Money's, money's uh, hard to come by these days. Times are tight. So if you can just share the videos, that's even, that's just as good. So um, there are affiliate links down below. Uh, I have a merchandise short store. Like I mentioned before, it is in a transitional state right now, but you can still use it and go see. I think there's two items on there right now, but it's it's swapping over. But I also have an affiliate link with Ember Shirt Co. who prints all the shirts. And I have a specific affiliate link that's down below that will take you to not only just the shirts, but a giveaway where they're giving away like $2,000 worth of stuff. So guys... That's it. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Be good to each other in the comments. Keep it clean so I don't have to moderate that. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video.